Have you ever considered the possibility that the world around you is not as fixed and unchangeable as it seems? That, perhaps, the reality you experience daily is something you can shape and manipulate. This is not just a thought experiment, it's a profound truth that has roots in various beliefs and philosophies around the world. From the ancient wisdom of the East to modern quantum physics, there's a common thread. Reality is more malleable than we've been led to believe. Imagine for a moment you are a painter, but instead of a canvas, your mind is the surface, and your thoughts, emotions and beliefs are the paint. Every stroke, every color you choose shapes the masterpiece of your life. This is not a metaphor, it's a reflection of how reality works. Your thoughts, charged with emotion, act like magnets, attracting experiences that resonate with the energy you're putting out. This idea, at its core, echoes through the teachings of mystics and sages throughout history. Take, for instance, the ancient philosophy of Hermeticism, summarized by the principle, as above, so below, as within, so without. This wisdom suggests that the universe outside of us is a mirror of what lies within us. Our internal state, our thoughts, feelings and beliefs reflects and shapes our external reality. This is not just an old philosophical idea, it's a principle that invites us to take an active role in shaping our lives. At the heart of the philosophy of Hermeticism is a simple yet profound question. What if the limits of what you can achieve and experience are not set by the world, but by how you perceive it? Across the ages, philosophers, sages and scientists have pondered the nature of reality, arriving at the consensus that reality, as we know it, is deeply intertwined with our perceptions, beliefs and thoughts. Our perception of reality is limited and subjective, shaped by our experiences and immediate sensations, we see only a fraction of the world's true complexity filtered through the lens of our personal experiences and beliefs. The world we see isn't an objective truth, but a subjective reality constructed by our brains. Where does this leave us? Are we simply passive observers in a pre-programmed reality show? The answer, thankfully, is no. But how, you may wonder, does one begin to manipulate their reality? The journey into manipulating your reality begins with understanding that we have the power to see beyond our immediate perceptions. We can train our minds, adjust our lenses, and ultimately change the way we interact with the world. This is not about denying the physical reality that surrounds us, but about recognizing the immense power of our minds to influence how we interpret and respond to it. Understanding the power of perception is the first step towards manipulating it. If our brains are constantly constructing our reality, then by influencing our thoughts and beliefs, we can influence how we perceive the world around us. Our perception of the world is filtered through our beliefs and past experiences. These filters can distort or even block the reality you wish to create. The key is to become aware of these filters and to consciously choose the ones that serve your desired reality. This is not a process of wishful thinking, but a disciplined practice of aligning your thoughts, emotions and actions with the outcomes you desire. The power of belief is another critical element. Modern science, particularly in the realms of psychology and neuroscience, has begun to uncover the mechanisms by which our brains construct reality. Studies on the placebo effect, for example, show that our beliefs can physically alter our bodies healing wounds and curing illnesses simply because we believe they will. Consider a phenomenon where people experience real changes in their health simply because they believe they are receiving treatment. This effect underscores the incredible power of belief to alter our physical reality. If belief can do this to our bodies, imagine what it can do to the world around us. This intertwining of belief and physical reality suggests that by changing our thoughts, we can indeed manipulate our reality in profound ways. But here's where it gets truly fascinating. Quantum physics suggests that at the most fundamental level, our reality is not made up of solid, unchangeable particles, but rather probabilities and possibilities. This science shows us 
that the observer plays a crucial role in determining the state of these probabilities. In essence, the act of observation is an act of creation. This doesn't mean we can wish things into existence with a mere thought, but it does suggest that our focused attention and intention can influence the fabric of reality. This shows the power of acting as if embodying the reality you wish to see before it manifests. Life throws curveballs and there will be times when things feel overwhelmingly real. The power lies in recognizing that even in those moments we have a choice. We can choose to see setbacks as roadblocks or opportunities for growth. We can choose to perceive limitations as walls or stepping stones. The choice ultimately is ours. This journey of manipulating reality is not about denying the challenges or hardships we face. Instead, it's about recognizing that even in adversity, we have the power to shape our perspective, find meaning and growth, and influence the outcome. It's a call to embrace the potential within us to create, transform and transcend the apparent limits of the world around us. But then, how are we actually able to manipulate reality? While we are able to do so, it's essential to first grasp what reality really means. Reality, as we perceive it, is a complex interplay of sensory experiences, thoughts and consciousness, a dance of phenomena that defy simple explanations. But what is reality, truly? How do our perceptions shape it, and what role does our consciousness play in this grand design? Let's start by exploring the ancient streets of Greece, where philosophers like Plato first contemplated the nature of existence. Plato's allegorical representation of the cave, where prisoners mistake shadows for reality, suggests that true knowledge comes from the intellectual vision of the forms, the abstract, perfect realities that stand behind the physical world we perceive. This Plato notion suggested that there is a higher reality, accessible through reason and intellectual insight, emphasizing the pursuit of knowledge and the importance of distinguishing between appearance and reality. Plato's allegory of the cave invites us to consider the difference between shadows cast on a wall, mere reflections of true objects, and the objects themselves. This allegory challenges us to question, are we like the prisoners, seeing only shadows of reality on the wall of our cave? Plato nudges us towards the light, urging us to recognize that what we perceive might not be the full extent of what is. René Descartes' famous dictum, cogito, ergo sum, I think therefore I am, marks a pivotal turn in the quest to understand reality, placing the thinking self at the center of the philosophical universe. Descartes' methodical doubt, his systematic questioning of all that could be questioned, led him to conclude that the only indubitable truth was the existence of the self as a thinking entity. René's radical introspection opened new avenues for considering the relationship between mind and matter, subject and object, and ultimately, the individual's ability to perceive and influence reality. Similarly, Eastern philosophies offer profound insights into the nature of reality. The concept of Maya in Hindu philosophy presents the world as an illusion, a cosmic play orchestrated by divine forces, suggesting that what we perceive as reality is merely a veil obscuring the ultimate truth. This perspective invites us to look beyond the superficial layers of existence to seek a deeper understanding that transcends the illusions crafted by our senses. The practice of mindfulness, a cornerstone of Buddhist philosophy, is a tool for observing the workings of the mind, for seeing beyond the veil of Maya, and for touching the true nature of reality. This practice reveals the impermanent, interdependent nature of all things, encouraging a detachment from the self-created stories that often bind us. As we ponder these philosophical musings, modern science offers its revelations. Neuroscience has shown us that our brains filter, interpret, and even distort the sensory information we receive, constructing a version of reality that is both subjective and unique to each individual. This process is akin to an artist painting a landscape the scene on the canvas is influenced by the artist's perspective, choice of colors, and even their emotional state. 
our brains in their attempt to make sense of the world perform a similar act of creation, piecing together a coherent picture from the myriad bits of data that flood our senses. The idea that we see the world not as it is but as we are can be both daunting and liberating. On one hand, it suggests that our understanding of reality is limited and filtered through the lens of our personal experiences, beliefs and biases. On the other hand, it reveals the incredible power we hold, the power to shape our perception of reality. By altering our perceptions, we can transform our experience of the world around us, a notion that is both empowering and humbling. Consider the ancient parable of the two arrows. The first arrow represents the physical pain that comes from an external event, while the second arrow symbolizes the suffering caused by our reaction to the event. This teaches us that while we may not have control over the first arrow, the second arrow is entirely within our grasp. Our perceptions, the stories we tell ourselves about what happens to us, can either amplify our suffering or alleviate it. This understanding is crucial in realizing how we can manipulate our reality by changing our reactions, our perceptions and ultimately the narrative of our lives. The implications of this are profound. If our reality is shaped by our perceptions and our perceptions can be altered, then the power to change our reality lies within us. This is not to say that we can wish away the challenges and trials of life, but rather that we can choose how we engage with them and how we let them define us. Now we continue to a crucial chapter, using the concept of mind over matter. The concept of mind over matter is more than an old adage. It is a truth embedded in the fabric of our existence. Throughout history, countless anecdotes and scientific studies have illuminated the remarkable ways in which our mental state can influence our physical reality. The placebo effect, a phenomenon where belief in a treatment's effectiveness can produce real measurable physiological changes, stands as a testament to this power. This effect underscores the potent force of belief and expectation, showing us that the seeds of healing and transformation are often planted in the fertile soil of the mind. But the influence of our thoughts and beliefs extends beyond the confines of our bodies. The stories we tell ourselves, the narratives that shape our understanding of who we are and what we can achieve, have the power to mold our reality. Like a sculptor chiseling away at a block of marble, our beliefs carve out the contours of our lives, shaping our experiences, our relationships, and even the opportunities that come our way. Consider the tale of two individuals, each facing the same set of challenges. One, armed with a mindset of resilience and possibility, sees obstacles as opportunities for growth, their belief in their ability to overcome fuels their journey forward. The other, shackled by doubts and fears, perceives the same obstacles as insurmountable barriers, their belief in their limitations becoming a self-fulfilling prophecy. This story, as old as time, illustrates the transformative power of our beliefs and how they can either liberate or constrain us. The science of neuroplasticity further illuminates the dynamic nature of our brains, revealing how our thoughts and experiences can rewire our neural pathways. This plasticity offers hope and possibility, showing that we are not static beings bound by the wiring of our past, but rather dynamic individuals capable of change and growth. By consciously directing our thoughts and focusing our intentions, we can shape our brains and, by extension, our realities. Engaging in practices such as meditation provides a practical application of these concepts, allowing us to become architects of our minds. These practices encourage us to observe our thoughts without judgment, to recognize their impermanent nature, and to gently steer them towards positivity and compassion. As we cultivate this inner landscape, we find that the external world begins to reflect the peace and clarity we nurture within. Yet this journey is not without its challenges. Cognitive biases, those mental shortcuts that often lead us astray, remind us that our perception of reality is prone to distortion. 
Overcoming these biases requires vigilance and intention, a commitment to seeing beyond the veil of our preconceptions. It is a process of unlearning and relearning, of letting go of old patterns to embrace new possibilities. In this exploration of the mind's power to shape reality, we are reminded of the ancient proverb, as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. This timeless truth, echoing through the ages, calls us to recognize the creative force of our thoughts and beliefs. It beckons us to take up the mantle of responsibility, to wield the power of our minds with wisdom and compassion. Standing on the threshold of infinite possibility, we need to be diligent gardeners of our mental landscapes, cultivating thoughts that uplift and inspire, that challenge and transform. For in the garden of the mind, the fruits of our labor are the realities we manifest, a reflection of our innermost thoughts and beliefs. But how do we actually practice reality manipulation? In order to do so, let's take a look at the practical ways to manipulate reality in your daily life. The cornerstone of our transformative toolkit is mindfulness. Mindfulness teaches us to dwell in the present moment, fully engaging with our experiences without judgment or distraction. When we cultivate mindfulness, we sharpen our awareness and become keen observers of our thoughts, emotions and reactions. This heightened awareness acts as a beacon, guiding us through the tumultuous seas of our minds and illuminating the patterns that shape our reality. Imagine walking through a forest, your mind cluttered with the noise of daily life, barely noticing the beauty around you. Now, picture the same walk, but this time you're fully present, observing the play of light through the leaves, feeling the earth beneath your feet, hearing the symphony of the forest. This shift in awareness transforms your experience, turning a mundane walk into a profound journey. Similarly, mindfulness transforms our interaction with reality, enriching our experiences and deepening our connection to the world. Next comes positive thinking and visualization, which are powerful tools for sculpting our mental landscape. Positive empowering statements repeated with conviction act as seeds planted in the fertile ground of our subconscious, gradually reshaping our beliefs and attitudes consequently, our reality. It's akin to planting seeds in fertile soil. With regular care, which is repetition, these seeds grow into the reality you desire. The practice of creating vivid, detailed mental images of our desired outcomes harnesses the brain's remarkable ability to influence our physical reality. By envisioning our goals as already achieved, we tap into the motivational reserves that propel us toward action, making our dreams tangible. These practices are not mere wishful thinking, but are grounded in the, the law of attraction. Like athletes visualizing their victories, by affirming our worth and visualizing our success, we prime our minds and bodies for achievement, drawing the essence of our desires into our reality. Now, let's consider the role of action. While it's true that our thoughts and emotions have a profound impact on our reality, they must be paired with action. Actions are the physical manifestations of our thoughts and intentions. They are the bridge between the world of possibilities and the reality of our lives. The universe responds to our actions by aligning circumstances, people and opportunities that resonate with our intentions. It's an interplay between our internal desires and external expression each step guided by our focused intent and action. But what about obstacles? It's important to acknowledge that challenges are part of the journey. Instead of perceiving obstacles as barriers, view them as opportunities for growth and learning. Each challenge is a question the universe is asking. How much do you want this? What are you willing to learn or change to get it? By facing these challenges with resilience and openness, we forge a deeper connection with our true selves and the fabric of reality. Moving to the realm of neuroscience, we find further evidence of our ability to shape our reality. Neuroplasticity, the brain's ability to reorganize itself by forming new neural connections throughout life, underscores the power of practices like mindfulness, visualization and positive thinking. These practices can literally rewire our brains, changing the way we perceive and interact with the world, thereby altering our reality. 
The field of psychoneuroimmunology explores how our thoughts and emotions affect our immune system and overall health. Studies in this domain demonstrate the tangible effects of positive thinking, stress reduction, and emotional regulation on our physical well-being, highlighting the mind-body connection and its influence on our lived experience. To integrate these insights into our journey of manipulating reality, let's consider the concept of coherence. Coherence is the alignment of our thoughts, emotions, and actions with our intentions, when we achieve coherence, we resonate at a frequency that attracts experiences and outcomes aligned with our desires. This concept is mirrored in the idea of vibrational alignment found in various spiritual traditions which posits that like attracts like. Practically, achieving coherence involves cultivating a state of inner harmony and balance. Meditation and heart-focused practices, such as heart rate variability training, can enhance coherence, synchronizing our heart, mind and body to operate in unity. By fostering coherence, we not only improve our health and well-being, but also increase our capacity to influence our reality positively. As you continue to apply these principles, remember that you are an integral part of the universe, a co-creator in the grand tapestry of existence. Your thoughts, emotions and actions are not just shaping your reality, but are contributing to the collective experience of all. Manipulation of our reality is not about control in the traditional sense, but about alignment with our highest selves. It's about creating a life that resonates with our deepest values, aspirations, and joys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.